What's up everybody? My name is Ron Empire and welcome to my channel. Good morning everybody. It is Monday, August 19th. It's currently 9.13 a.m. So yes, happy Monday everybody. And we are back with some Against the Storm today as a start. And then uh, we'll play some more other games uh, later today. All right, well, let's jump back in here and see where we're at with the map. Okay, we now have seven towns on this cycle under our belt. Oh, no, I remember now. Yeah, okay, so we've got what? Barren Lands? And we got Ancient Battleground. This is a double modifier. Let's take a look here. I believe we have six towns left in us. What's 43 divided by eight? All right, so how I came up with that 43 number is I usually take the number of years left and I subtract one. So that means that when I end up with one year left uh, on the cycle bar, I can squeeze in one more town with one year remaining. And that number, that... That last town does not have a specific number of years requirement because the storm is going to happen right after. But the game, the way it works is that if you manage to squeeze in a town right before the storm ends, which is one year left, you can do as many number of years on that very last town and it will not affect the cycle bar because you're already on the last year. As soon as you finish that town... Uh, you can't place any new towns, and you have to be within uh, the range of the Adamantine Seal. And that's the only thing you can do at the end of that uh, cycle, is placing a town around the, site, the seal. So that's why I always do a number of years left, subtract 1, and I take that number, which is 43 now, and I divide by an average of 8 years. Um, so then... That's the number of towns that I can actually place. Um, so I, I use eight as a magic number. Um, but, you know, for for those that, you know, take longer, you might want nine, right? Or those that's really cons really good at the game and you consist can consistently get seven, then you can divide by seven. But I, I like eight as, as the number of years just to be on the safe side. So that... That gives me about five towns uh, with eight plus the six or the, or the last one, right? Which is now six, right? So I can get in about six towns here. Now five multiplied by eight is 40. So, and I said 43. So that gives me a wiggle room of three towns being, uh, being nine years. Right, I, I basically have a wiggle room of three years. I can spread that three years however I want. It could be three towns getting nine years. So if I get really good at a couple of towns and they're like sevens, right, instead of eights, then I have an extra year as a wiggle room, right? So that's just how I generally plan out my cycle um, pathing, placing towns towards the seal. Just, just a little walkthrough on on uh how i do my planning now if you get really good if you get six obviously then you know you have two years wiggle room left to spread across the other towns and uh that really helps okay so i have about six towns left in me um so this is going to be town number one town number two Um, town number three, I could use a range extension, right? Well, I'll have to use a range extension, right? If I want to touch this. I don't have to. So let's say three, four, five, six, and then in, right? Four, one, two, three. Maybe four. I don't know. Maybe four. Or range extension. Right? 
then I might get a visibility. Um, and then depending on what that is, I can take on that, then four, and then five, and then six, or something like that. Something like that. I It's fuzzy because you don't know exactly what these question marks are. They may be like a plant the town there. And so then my planning is slightly off because the events basically is is different from the way modifiers work. Modifiers, you have to be next to the modifier. But events, they will get you to place the town on top of the event location, which is kind of weird. I think the developer should try to change that concept a little bit and let you have a radius around the event. But anyways, that's, that's you know, whatever. That's a design issue. All right, so back to where we're at here. Barren lands. No soil. Ancient battleground. I start off with 150 hostility, right? Because it's 50 times 3. The hostility scale is based on difficulty. The highest difficulty is 3. Okay. Let's take a look at what we have here. All right, we have foxes. That's doable. Foxes ignore the hostility. So I don't get the hostility penalty. Um, okay. I think that'll be fine. Put our town name in first. This is August 19th, cycle 37, I believe. Uh, prestige 20 and town number 8, right? Let me make sure. Yes, we are cycle 37. And it's been five days since we played against a storm, huh? Okay. Alright, so boxes, total of 8. The bottom, this one is 8, and the bottom is 8. So, 8 all around. That's 8 with our plus 2 villager count, too. It's kind of crazy, huh? Alright. Two is not terribly bad. I'll take it. Take the veggies. Where are we on? Marshlands? Um, I'm going to take some, some of that. I think this is the lowest count. Take that. Since we can't do any farming... Right, because uh, barren lands has no farming, no soil. Luckily, it is on marshlands. I'm not going to bring this because chances are we'll probably find it. We need to open glades to sustain ourselves in terms of food. So we'll probably end up opening a bunch of glades. But I want to get this because if we need to do trading for money and not having any food, that's essentially the food, right? Hmm. I'm thinking, is there anything else I need to do here? One, two, three, four, five, five different food items. Yeah, I guess this is fine. Yeah, no farming, so... Alright, I think I'm fine with this. Or, or I can take this back. Take this and this, right? Um... Just to be on the safe side for food. Because we, we did get 10 planks from the uh, event. And I'm taking, I'm spending my reserves because I'm a little concerned about the barren lands. Okay, I think this will be fine. So, 
three, four, five, six, six different food item slots, plus pack of provisions, which is also technically extra food that we're converting. Sorry, seven, right? Seven different food slots because the egg there that I didn't count. We've got extra planks already. I'm bringing extra wood because this is marshlands and foxes, extra people. Let's do this. All right, so good morning, Grim Shifter, Volunder, BMG Dan, Octopippo. Thank you for hanging out this morning. Hope you had a great weekend. Okay, so humans. Nice. Pickle, four eaters, right? Four eaters. Uh, fulfill the following needs. I have to have services to get this boost, which is terrible. This is terrible. This is not going to happen for a very long time. This is probably one of the worst forced mysteries that you can get. Because services is never going to happen. Until the very end and you're already winning. So this is really useless. No contact is pretty bad. I just need to remember to get out of level 2, right? Before turning in anything. Uh, five seconds longer to burn. So I need to worry about having an extra blight post. Good thing I brought the extra wood. Trees will not give you anything if cut during the storm at level 2. Another level 2, which is swarms, as long as you have housing, you don't get this debuff. Okay, so a lot of these are level 2s. This is not terribly bad, but I think they the, game, the way the game works is that they give you decent mysteries if you already have like a hard modifier going into the game. So at least that's what I understand the developer has explained to me once. That mysteries have like different weight. And so if your difficulty weight is already high, they will give you a lower difficulty mystery weight. I don't know what those magic numbers are. It's not published anywhere, but that's an internal thing. And this is a really crappy one, right? Yeah, this is a no no soil whatsoever marshlands. Uh, maybe I should have gotten a camp, but I don't know. We'll see. All right, so the way this works, though, is that... Um, we... The developer said... Because I asked him to, um, once. Soil reclamation does not appear... Soil reclamation is when a node uh, is depletes, you'll get soil as a, as a splatter. So what I was told is that it's considered a bug if I do see soil reclamation. It's not intended to have the Forest Mystery soil reclamation. I did report a bug once that they had where it spawned um, something about uh, farming is faster or planting is faster for every small glade open. That was not intended because there's no farming on this map. There's no soil. So they got rid of that. Now, back in the days, there used to be... Um, there used to be soil in the glade if you find it next to a farm ruin. Now, I, th I, I asked recently, I think within the past six months, that... Um, they said that these the uh, the farm ruins are not possible spawns anymore in the glade. So it's slightly different from like you know bandit camp where it says no trading's allowed. But in bandit camp, it is possible to find a trader in the glade, which allows you to trade. So that's a slight loophole. The developer says that's fine for now, but they may fix that in the future. The Ruins now, they did fix. And then the other thing too is Leaking Cauldron, which is a, a glade event that if you solve it, it splatters the soil when it's done. Uh, from what I was told, the developer says that should not appear as an event either. And now that has happened to me before in, in the past. It used to be also in the past when I had barren lands next to another modifier that is Fertile Ground. And Fertile Ground gives you, like, extra chance of soil. And so what happened was the, the minus 100% plus the extra 
50, 60, or 80 percent chance of soil uh, got sort of added up. And so there was a slight chance, and I actually did get soil with fertile ground. But that was early access, and the developer did supposedly fix the modifier so they cannot be next to each other. So it's, I shouldn't be possible uh, to get fertile grounds next to barren lands anymore. Anyways, those are the little things that I've I've uh, I've noticed, and I want to address that because in some past videos um, I said that it, it it's possible to get soil still, but uh, and then uh, in some older videos you'll see the bugs where I did get soil, and so those are no longer valid. Um, this is a more updated video, so I want to give you more updated intel about the game. All right, let's jump in. Uh, so this is really bad, guys. We've got two food node, two food node. This is the worst you can possibly get. For Baron Lance, as a start. We really got screwed. Explorer's Lodge. God, these are terrible. This is really terrible. Getting a scribe or an explorer's lodge. I mean, that's not even the best ale or the best tools either. I mean, that is the best scrolls, but... I can't get that. I'm gonna have to go with the League. Lodge, the Lodge, right? There's a good chance we'll find some ruins. Since I have to open glades. I guess I'll go with this. Yeah, I mean, it can be useful if I find uh, ruins. I mean, we are gonna open glades because we can't sustain on those two nodes of each food right now. Yeah, you're right, you're right. At least the Explorer's Lodge can be useful because the the foxes do fighting gears, right? That's at least bare minimum. Um, advanced Rain Collector. Probably going to take the Advanced Rain Collector. I don't know how I feel about the temple because sacrificing wood is not very viable right now. And this building is kind of a dead weight for the most part. I do have extra pipes. And having green water may be useful here since I can do I can do uh Forage with it. Hey, what's going on? And good morning, Yusos Emperu, and good morning, Hansu and Adagio. Uh, Alright. You know what? I'll stick it in the front. Kind of weird, but that's okay. Four, four, three. Um, I don't know here. Kinda worried. One, two, three.
Okay. Let's go. You know, let's take that off. I could use the actual worker right now. Go. Go. Boing. 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 Clay for a minute. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's going to help me a little bit there. All right, I'm going to probably use this. Since we won't be able to chop trees during the storm. We're going to need all the trees as we can get. I probably should have brought more wood. I don't want to look at that right away. Maybe I should. I don't know. Again, do I want humans to? Humans are going to subtract minus eight, right? I'm thinking. Yeah, that's fine. Let's give humans codes. No, I don't know. I guess I'll give them food. No, I don't know about that. I can't choose. I can't pick and choose. Bing. She's not going to be happy, right? Because of the... The food. Monday. Yep, I already knew that. to do about the food in here. This uh, hostility of the forest thing is killing me right now. Normally, starving the humans on the first year is not a big deal.
eat your damn forage. Eat your damn forage. Oh shit. Oh, they did not eat, did they? Why did they not eat? Oh, it's because of the firekeeper. Oh, because of the firekeeper! Forgot about the firekeeper. Well, that's the worst! Oh, that was the worst. Oh, that was the worst. Oh my god, that was the worst thing in the world. Oh, she's gonna lose. Oh, come on! I forgot about the fire. I forgot about the pot fire. God damn it. <sighs> Too much optimization. Over optimization. And I end up losing a human in the process. Yep. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Yeah, I forgot to put the firekeeper back on. That was terrible, guys. One less mouth to feed. Since I can't really use them to farm. We we didn't start the fire, literally. <laughs> Takuna TV. Uh, uh, Takuna 12. I know, right? Billy Joel. We're singing Billy Joel today. I think he sings, right? I think he's the one that sings, we didn't start the fire. We didn't start the fire. It wasn't burning. I need to take one of these guys off and chop wood. Goddamn light post. No, trade post. God, I can't wait for the update. Yeah. Uh, they're gonna announce it sometimes at the end of this month. There's no date. I actually don't know a date because I do- what well, the only thing I do know is that it's, it's gonna go through a pr promotion period, which is basically game keys for content creators. That's the only thing I do know, but I don't know when that date is either.
no game category on Twitch? Do I have no game category? Oh, thank you for that. Yeah, my uh, thing bugged out. Thank you for pointing that out. It is against the storm. Thank you for for pointing that out. Yeah, every time I change my category, some and I put it in for some reason. Sometimes it does not remember it or stick. It's very weird. Yeah, I can't chop during the storm because of this. But yeah, thank you for for calling that out. Yeah, if you guys see that, let me know because I've I've screwed up once or twice on changing the uh, title description, and then it just bugs out and replaces the uh, the category. Even though I selected the the category, for some reason it deletes it. So I don't know what that's about. I won't kill you. Yeah. Uh, Twitch hates me? Oh, maybe. Twitch may might hate me. Who knows? What do we have? Oh my god! All right, it's not as bad actually because we need wood, so beavers might actually help me with this. I guess that's okay. I would have preferred one of the other two though, because at least I get eggs here, right? Egg production, or I get the harpy, which is also a proc chance. And considering this map, Blizzard might be okay if I, if I get a ranch and I find some sort of grain out here. Or I get Harpy Lizard and then a time order related to Harpy Lizard, which is food per minute. Beaver has a food per minute, but it's roots. But it's, eh, it's roots. <laughs> and I'm not too thrilled with that one. Shali.
What do we have? Oh, Mist Piercer. How do I feel about Mist Piercer, guys? How do I feel about Mist Piercer? Um. Yeah, the the re. Okay, I I definitely want Miss Piercer, but right now what I'm thinking is, do I need to open a gl a small glade first to take advantage of the one, the free opening? Because the way it works is that if I open something, it goes up by 0.5. Right. I don't mind Miss Piercer to to peek into the large. But with the little glades, do I want one of my little glades open first? I think the answer is yes, right? Because this one is kind of like s smacked here. Probably want to get rid of this first before taking the Mist Piercer. No, that's a definitely no. Drizzle is the one thing you could use. The drizzle water, you mean? I mean, I don't have any bars, right? I need four more. I should be able to get that. From this. This is open five glades, right? How do we feel about opening five glades? I think this is better, right? Plus one wood. How do we feel about getting 12 beavers, guys? I mean, it gets us a lumber mill, but 12 beavers? That's like 11 more beavers. I only need to eat 50 biscuits on the other one. This almost never happens. Think about this. By the time I get the lumber mill, right, I will have 11 beavers. How many beavers can I get over a period of time? Like, from experience, I can tell you, every time I take this, this lumber mill almost is completely useless. Right. It's like very, very end of the game, and I, I will have already won by then. 12 beavers. It's pretty much never going to be used. And this is kind of a trap because I plan around it and I, I, I avoid taking buildings that don't give me wood right away. And I'm like, oh, you know, I've got the lumber mill, so I'm going to pass on the carpenter. Oh, I've got the lumber mill, I'm going to pass up on the whatever other dumb shit building. And then I don't get the beavers every year that I need to get 12. And then it's, it's like, okay, the moment on this passes. This, I can at least buy the biscuits from, from the trader, right? And complete the game. I already have bricks coming in, right? I mean, this looks really good, but I just almost never get this. And there's no human, there's no, there's no people here, right? We just took one beaver as our first year. And that's like, what, 10 more to go? We're at year two? I just don't think it's, it's viable. Oh my god, this is terrible. I gotta cut through five, right? One, two. One, two, three, four. And then Miss Piercer. One, two, three, four, then Miss Pier Piercer.
In seven minutes? Can I do that in seven minutes? I should be able to, but the problem is I don't have money to pay for it. That covers three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Plus another... Another six. I need six more after this. All right. All right, well, we'll do this. Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. go here we go here we go let's do this we may not need the miss piercer but I don't know we'll see Ugh, one beaver. Meat. We lost a person earlier, which is terrible. That really screwed us up. something else which I don't know yet okay that's the swell stone we don't really need stone it might be this one it might be that one Do I need anything off this dude? No, right? That's not... Altar of Decay, huh? Cellar. Cash. Rain Spirit Totem. Water. Harmony Spirit. Army Spirit might be useful, since we have one building. Fuming Machine. Rain Spirit Totem. Hmm. I think the Altar of Decay might be good, because at least... We had one person that die earlier. I plan on killing more people. So sad, exploration contract does not count retroactively. What do you mean? Oh yeah, yeah, this little, you mean 
you mean this, right? You're talking about this? It doesn't count retro, yeah. So I need four. Ooh, pipes and oil. Ooh, pipes and oil, huh? Pipes and oil? What is Rain Spirit Totem, guys? It's, I can't remember which one gives you the... the minus 50 hostility. Is it Rain Spirit Totem? Or is it the uh, Totem Denial? I think it's Rain Spirit Totem that gives you the minus, minus um, 50, right? I'm looking it up. Give me one second. You think so too? I think it's the Rain Spirit Totem that gives you minus 50, right? Hang on, I'm looking it up. Oh, I forgot. It actually doesn't tell you on my little cheat sheet. Um, I forgot the effect of Rain Spirit Totem. I'm trying to remember here. Blocks the ability to blue, 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 blue. Yeah, it doesn't say. Yeah, there should be in-game wiki for this. There shit. Well, <laughs> it's going to be in the next update. I can tell you that they did publicly announce that. Um, trying to find the. Is it, I don't think there is one. There isn't one, right? Yeah. See, there's no. Um. Shit. Let's take a look at this. Says so the wiki. Does the. Does the wiki mention? I forgot to take screenshots on which one's what. Uh, totem of Denial. I'm looking it up. The wiki is kind of a... Uh, the perk is kind of weird without the in-game wiki. Yeah. I don't think it may be... No, see, it's a cornerstone. This is not the same as the wiki. It doesn't say on the stupid search of the wiki. Somebody needs to update this wiki to make it easy to figure out. Um, it's not perks and cornerstones, right? I'm looking at... at uh, I'm looking for Glade events. Glade events. Moldering, upgrades, deeds, game mechanics, getting started, tutorial. On the very first page, they really need to tell you. They need to have an easy link to that. Glade events, right? It's under Glade events. And then... We are looking for Rain Spirit Totem. I think Rain Spirit Totem is minus 50. And Totem Denial, I think, is plus 3. If I recall. But I want to be sure in case I'm wrong. I just want to be sure. Yes, okay. Ex all right, I am correct. The totem... Okay, so Rain Spirit Totem is the one that uses oil, and it is minus 50 hostility. So I do have it correct. This should be giving me minus 50 hostility. That should pair up with this. And then there was another one, right? We're gonna go into that one to get the the death benefits. Noxus machinery is actually not hard at all. I think I can't remember if Harmony Spirit uses oil. I think Harmony Spirit does use oil, right? It does use oil. This potentially gets me one point. 
because of the um, the service building. Rain Spear Totem. Altar of Decay. I, actually, I think Altar of Decay also uses oil, right? I need the oil for the Altar of Decay. It does use oil. Alright, alright, alright. So we... Oh. So Altar of Decay goes with this. And that is this guy here, right? Yeah. That's the only thing I can do right now. That one. Or I do this now. And even if that fails, it's not that big of a deal, right? Failing this is bad. Right? I'm blinking. Alright, well, let's take a look at the other map. There he is. Let's see what the other al alternatives are. Because we need more ruins, right? To take advantage of the uh, Explorer's Lodge. Giving us the... Uh, the plus resolve. Distillery, right? That's a good one right there. That's okay. That's the good one right there. Smelter with a copper. Nox's machinery is very easy to do. There's a grill in that one. Good for foxes. There's nothing in here, right? I need to open something though within the next five minutes. Tinctuary, drainage mall. Hmm. What was that one again? Fishman Outpost. Hmm. Yeah, there's none of this is really amazing. Oh, there's another altar of decay right here. Wow. What's these little ones? There's only like two little ones within range. Yeah, alright. Well, I'm guessing, yeah, the altar of decay. That means another person's gonna die, right? One more person's gonna die. So that means we're going to get a minus 40 upon opening this. This is a minus 40. Which we net minus 10, right? Um, exotic disease. Hey, watch lots of your of YouTube videos. Thank you for the first time chat. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you for hanging out today. Appreciate that. Um, as your, as in your YouTube videos, they're really good. Thanks for the effort. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're like, hey, I watch lots of YouTube videos. <laughs> yeah, don't we all? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, thank you for watching my videos. I appreciate that. Um... No, not this one. Sorry, no, not that one. Where's my stones? That one, right?
Uh, are you planning on doing a new playthrough for... Yes, I, I, I definitely am. I can tell you that. <laughs> it's going to be in brand... Well, I might do... I might do a regular... Uh, I will probably try it out on this particular Series 1 game. Just to let people know to switch to the new s series. If if this is the... If this will be, you know, the, the last video that they'll see in the series, basically. But the idea is that I will definitely be starting a brand new series. Because there will be significant changes. And people are going to want to know the new stuff. The new tips and tricks. Uh, or just keep going on this one? No, I will keep going on this one for maybe one or two videos. And then I will start a brand new run. Um, well, okay, so if anything, you're gonna see a brand new run. Uh, because I will have a content creator's version. So there's gonna be a limited series run. On the uh, on the content creators version, because that will be like a pre-release, and typically these content creators pre-release runs don't always exactly include everything because they might make some changes on the final day when they release. So I'll probably have a limited series run, and then I'll do like maybe a couple of runs on this on this series. And then I will do a brand new one. But we'll see how it goes. I don't know. It's It really depends on how it goes. With the content creator's version. Or I might just announce it on the very last version. Or the last run of the series. To say, hey, it's coming out. Look for the new, the new series. Um. Nothing here, right? I need more people. I need more people. Go, Gadget, go! And I need to open this up, right? You are 15. All right, ranch, right? I'm gonna take the ranch. Cause that gets us food. Eventually. And then somebody will die. Somebody's gonna die. We delivered that, right? Damn. Damn. I don't 
need that right now. No. I don't need the coats, right? Brickyard? Ooh, brickyard. Uh, the right is actually not bad, too, because... Because then we can start making the biscuits. The left is great because we get bars, right, for fox homes. This is a tough choice, guys. What am I going to do? I'm looking around because I, I need bars for fox homes. What have you got to make flowers? <laughs> Mushrooms. <laughs> it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Like the walls give you mushrooms. This right here, right? And then whatever we decide to open. I mean, there's a giant proto-wheat somewhere, right? Yeah, there's a giant proto-wheat here. Drainage mole, right? What's drainage mole? I think drainage mole is just meat, right? That's the easiest one. Is it infected, though? Ugh, it's infected. Infected drainage mole is a little harder. That is... T... Or... Incense. That's incense. Well, I don't know about going in here. We may not need that. What do you think? Pottery is efficient clay input. That's all it is, right? But I don't think that's a big of a deal. It's like one unit of clay. It's not very relevant. This one is pretty good because we get bricks efficiently by a lot that will admit that will make it easy to go with pottery we are getting clay per minute crystal bars can helps us make homes for foxes right the only benefit for the stamping mill is flour the only thing that's better than that is probably the lumber mill right yeah the brickyard does pottery as well so pour it or sorry pickle goods is not the issue it's whether we want to complete this or not i either take it now or i pass it and wait for the opportunity or wait for an opportunity to open up for another flower making building right we can at least get 20 biscuits off of this but that's not necessarily 20 fulfillment because they will have a chance to eat double. So we're not exact. This is not exactly 20 fulfillment. The minimum will be 10 fulfillment. The most will be 20 if we're lucky. That would be hella lucky. Hella lucky? Which one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To get the 20, right? Exactly. To get the 20 would be hella lucky. Exactly. Exactly. 
Right, I'm gonna go with the brick because then we can make pack of building materials more efficiently. Um. And then I need doohickeys, right? And then I need this one. I think we did cut off the beavers, right? Yeah, we did. Okay. Somebody's gonna die, right? Somebody is going to die. Somebody I used to know. A fox died. That's a woodcutter. Somebody I used to know. Somebody I used to know has to go. All right. I want to turn anything in now or just wait it out? If I want to, I need to do it now instead of later. Right, because of this. I can wait it out, I guess. about the foxes. What am I gonna do about the foxes? Or let beaver have their one coat and then let go. There's only one beaver. Blankies right away. Hmm. 
mean, he's got that there, right? Once he eats his coats. Oh, he didn't, he didn't eat his coat yet. Coats is consumable. It's kind of funny though, right? All the, all the, uh, the clothes are biodegradable, right? They use it and then it's like they destroy it. Like in real life, you know, your coats don't wear out that fast, right? And against the storm, I guess, all your coats are like destroyed upon use. Uh, I change with every meal too. I never think of uh, of doing this because I'm dumb, but I just sit there and watch them leave. Oh, oh, you mean the the uh, water mechanic or the water trick? Yeah, I mean this gives you resolve, right? And there's only one beaver, so I can I can manipulate the resolve. But the water mechanic, yeah, the water mechanic is very useful. Yeah, it's very useful. That's why you see me... That's why you see me, like, throw down the rain collector all the time at the start of the game. I want to be able to collect water because... You never know when you need the water for something. Like, I used to not like the water stuff when they first made it. And then over time, I got warmed up to it. And I'm like, you know what? This water thing is actually really good. But yeah, I mean, it's possible to win the game, and I've done so, uh, without using water. But it's kind of like leaving money on the table, though, right? It really helps. And you're kind of missing out if you don't use it remember the time before you unlocked water engine yes i do remember the time i did that yes it was rough it was annoying right <laughs> i i basically rushed to get the water unlocked as quick as i could during the uh, the reset profile thing What do we have? Ooh. More people to kill off on the left. But the right gives us food. Oh, all this time I had the wrong one. Oh my god, all that time I was making the wrong thing. Oh dear lord. Uh, I was trying to get uh, wood for this, so I can get this running. I needed wood. I wanted to get my brickyard production going so I can start making pickle goods. And then the Brickyard production can help me with this. Getting this done. So I can get this going. Oh yeah, check trains. Ooh, that's not a bad deal right there. I'll take that one. I mean, that's not a bad deal. It's not great. 
That's not a bad deal. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm gonna pass. Not like I need it. Because I can always convert that into this, right? Yeah. We're going to be out soon. So I heard a funny issue on a run today. I had the thing where it gave me plus one mushrooms when product producing 25 of them. And it got to the point where I could not get enough wood since the buildings were full of mushrooms after one tree. Yes, that is that could be a problem, yes. So what you want to do is have somebody in the main warehouse to help with that. Or what you could do is you can make multiple woodcutters camp and rotate, rotate through it. Like put the, so when you're done, you take all the workers out, leave them here, have somebody at the warehouse that unloads it and then rotate the woodcutter in somewhere else. But yeah, that is a possibility that could happen, yes. I mean, I don't mind that too much. It's not that big of a deal. I've never had that issue, really. It's it, it's really non-issue for me, for the most part. I mean, one of the big, big things is that I really wish the developers would implement their priorities mechanic. They said they tried to do it, and it didn't work out for whatever technical reason. Um... But yeah, like I I get annoyed because sometimes when you're trying to solve something and the item that you want, like the tablet is like the fifth slot. So they'll deliver everything from left to right. And the tablet right here basically is needed for some time order to turn in, right? It was like a make or break it moment. I've had many situations where that happened where I needed the tablet right away and I'm bottlenecked by the delivery. And so the biggest suggestion I'd like is like, you can click on this, right? It's just like, hey, I want this first. High priority, shift, 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 right? It's kind of like this, right? Why can't they just give me something like this? You know, like a, I want that first, disable, disable, and then choose the last one. I, I just don't know. They tried doing something, but I don't know exactly what they tried. Maybe they didn't think it through on the other possible ways to solve it. We don't technically need this. I don't want to deliver this. This one should be fine. Ooh. Reroll? Hidden reward, huh? This retro too. I get tablets. What do you guys think? Well, the one on the left gets me... For every two, I get plus one, right? For every two. Well, there's only one there. For every two. Versus a tablet one, I may get a tablet quest down here. More people. Tablet sells for a lot. Yes, it does sell for a lot of money. I mean, the left one's not bad because then I get my resolve and that's my push for winning at the end. But this may be, may be handy. Yeah, you know what? I'll take that one. It might, it might be handy actually. Ole. 
Jesse. Alright, I don't need that guy there. So how or what do you have? What do you have? Gain one insects for every two mushrooms produced? Ooh. Maybe I do want that. Hang on, what's the trade route? Two twenty seconds? How long are you here for? Hello. Ten minutes? For one minute and ten seconds? I mean that's not great, but it is one coin. That's three coins, right? How much is this worth? Three? Five? Four? I want this, because that gets me insects. Insects can feed into the ranch for eggs. I still need to come up with money, right? I should have done this sooner. I should have done that one sooner. Like two minutes? No, that's not gonna happen in time. Cause we're getting lots of mushrooms. That just basically translates to extra food. Or the other alternative is buying this, which is also quite a lot of money. Right. Or we attack the guy and get a lot of food. Huh. Or attack the guy and then pray for this and this. This is not terribly bad to have, right? Uh, at Takuna12. Oh my god, I'm stupid. You're so right. And get it from Wood Camp. Thank you both. Uh, but is micromanaging wood production kind of annoying? It feels cheaty, in my opinion. Um, let's see here. But then it would only work once, right? The wood's in the main warehouse after that. I'm not sure what we were saying. Put workstation near the wood camp and someone to make planks and directly wood camp to teleport. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's, I do that a lot, too. Where if you have this, say, like, over here. Um, basically, in this right here, or in this fashion, they pull it over. Whoever's in this will pull it over from this, basically. So that's a possibility, right? Kind of like this. My other alternative is I attack the guy... And then uh, we get some money or some food, right? And then the hostility will drop. Right, lose five villagers, right? I mean, up to five villagers is the possibility, right? I think the range is... I think the range is two to five, right? Hang on, let me look at the wiki again. There is... I'll tell you what the range is, the, the consequence. Um, or this. For killing the guy. Trading? Traders? Where's the list of killing the people? It's not on this list here. There's a there's a list where if you attack them, it'll tell you what the consequences in killing them. The frog guy is okay. Yeah, two to five people can potentially die. The impatient point goes up to two, by two. Right, it increases by two, and then two to five, which goes to be here or here. So we'll be struggling a little bit. 
But we get food. We will get food. But that mitigates the ancient battlegrounds. Yeah, that'll mitigate ancient battlegrounds. Okay. Flanken. Is it converted? Uh, also, Altar of Corruption. It's converted, yes! Killing people basically lowers... It's, it's retroactive. Oh, I haven't finished it yet. I haven't finished it yet. But it is retroactive. 20 points for every time a villager dies or leaves. Counts as 9 decoration type as well. Sell, that's my other alternative. Soonish TM? <laughs> yeah, soonish. Legendary. Hmm. Poor Froggy. Yeah, poor me. <laughs> what happened to poor me? I think he's gonna have to die, guys. This is it. This is it. He's going to have to die. I will spend the money, though, on this. No, the tablet I might want to keep. I might want to keep the tablet. I think that's fine, right? <laughs> Alright, here we go. I'm praying for the biscuits and the flour. Biscuits and flowers! 40 biscuits and flowers. Oh my god, five people died. I got what I wanted too, actually. I got everything I want out of that deal. <laughs> or the attack, right? This is good. This is good. Well, it would have been nice if we had the brewery too, right? To make pickle goods. But hey, you know, can't complain. We actually got pickle goods anyways. I mean, that is not a bad deal, right? Eh, you know, 10 people died. 10 people died. It is what it is. People die all the time. Lincoln. I gotta control my food to flow, though. The food must be controlled. Cook, cook, scout. Okay. It's all right. Once this converts, we're good, right?
Although I could use more workers. Yeah, I could use more workers. Eesh, I could use more workers. We can speed this up a little bit, right? Everybody's eating their happy meals. Some yummy happy meals. You know, happy meals are really expensive these days. It used to be like under $5. Now you can't even get a happy meal for, for $5 anymore. Terrible. Is this winnable? Yeah, it's winnable. Everything is expensive nowadays. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's corporate greed and collusion, in my opinion. They did not have to raise prices. They claim that, oh, they need to because they're not making a, a profit. But all the quarter sales reports are showing them making profits ever since they jacked up prices. This is bullshit. record profits in fact yeah exactly right exactly so it's like you're telling me that you have to raise price because supply chain and your expenses are really high but then you're making a profit so cry me a river right anyways just saying All right, we're down to two, right? Look at that. We're down to two hostility now. There's only one beaver, though. Amber. Biscuit fulfillment. I need me. I need people, guys. I need people. Sorry. We don't have enough biscuit eaters, actually. need that right away, right? I don't need that one right away. Vape Tulas. I just need more workers at this point. need more workers workers lurkers I need everything I need more lurkers where are all my viewers today actually there's quite a bit of you guys on actually we've got like what over 40 people watching thank you for hanging out today guys I appreciate it Can I get people here? The body. Eleven. Mm 
Yeah, I was gaining 1.6 per minute. Ha ha, what? I got Forsaken version of that yesterday. Holy shit, it is. Was gaining 1.6 per minute. Uh, oh yeah, you're talking about Rebellious Spirit. Exactly. If I get Rebellious Spirit, that'd be great. That would be amazing. That's what you guys are talking about, yeah. Well, all I know is all of this is doable. That's five points in the bag, right? Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven ish. Ten, maybe, ten ish. I need to come up with ten on my own. Maybe one off of beavers, maybe two. Maybe two off of that. That's like, what, four? Three more of off of this. Maybe, and then some of this. Nox's machinery should give me a point. Destroyed caravan is 0. 0.5. That's 0. 0.5. Ranch. I need to get some salad dressing going here. Some salad dressing. Maybe a grill over there. What does ancient shrine give me? What does the ancient shrine give me? 0.5, right? It's tools. Okay, ancient shrine is tools. Alright, I'm, I'm okay with this one. The only problem with this is it's very dangerous because of the, um, the mist piercer. I need a steady buffer. Oh, look at that. Rebellious spirit. Oh, rebellious spirit or safe haven. Take a rebellious spirit. It's a weak version though, but there's a good chance that it can be upgraded. It's a weak, weak sauce version. I need the one with the most people. Buwaz, Buwazi. humans eat it. No, I won't. We don't have enough. Oh yeah, I do. Go with us. In fact, I'll give humans the coats. Get things moving along a little bit here. Alright, what do we have here? That should be shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> it shouldn't be too hard, right? If only we can get what? Thirteen more people? Get this garden down here so we can get the plus one. Where do we 
want you to go. Alright, so we got two people flowing, right? Um, some resolve flowing here. This is insects, veggies, eh, it's fine, it's fine right? Yeah it's fine, get that going. Alright, so the spice is flowing, right? The spice is flowing. people that's our problem right now we need more people our rebellious spirit is going pretty good right now Keep it going, humans. Keep it going. And we need all the wood we can get, right? Definitely need all the wood we can get. Divide by three is about four. Right? So, yeah. Three, right? It's ten housing? Yeah, it's about, about right. It's fine. I'll leave it. Should have done that sooner. Ooh, a forger. Huh. What's the proto proto wheat pro protus? I don't know if that's even worth it. I don't even know if it's worth going into this anymore. Yeah, I know. Infected drainage mole, right? Oh no, there we go. Infected drainage mole. And that requires. It requires 45 of this, which we don't have. 45 incense. Right? Hang on. Infected drainage mole. The one on the left is actually worse to do. 
Um, because you have to go through like 60 meat, 45. Yeah, it's the same thing actually on the left. Yeah, so it's like 45 incense on the left and 45 incense on the right. So regardless, you might as well do the one on the right because at least it gives you a point. The only other difference is we just have to burn shit, which is not that hard. Um, or I get the biscuits. The incense. Because you need the incense to create the solve, right? That's the problem. You need the incense to create the solve. The forger's camp is not going to do us a whole lot if we can't well, what traitor? <laughs> we killed the traitor. There's 25 here, though. We do know that. But I might as well get point if that was the case. I don't think it's worth the trouble, though. I mean, solving it will probably win, right? I think we should just get the biscuits making. I mean, there is another apothecary somewhere. There is another apothecary somewhere. But it's really far out, I believe. Yeah, it's really far out. It's like, pop this is 0.5, pop this is 0.5. Right? I don't know if it's worth the trouble, guys. Second altar decay. Yeah, second altar decay is really nice. You're right, actually. I will probably not have to worry about any hostility problems. This one requires oil, right? Hang on. What does harmony... 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 Is oil, right? And money. Harmony is oil and money. We do have the money. We do have money. Oh, look at that. Hopefully that's not going to require a tablet, but I think that's a good deal, right? Six minutes. What do you think? Should I wait the extra two minutes? What do you think, guys? Six minutes. Harmony Spirit. I don't have to open it right now, right? Ten pops is pretty steep. What do you mean ten pops? Ten pops is pretty steep. What do you mean ten pops? I'm not sure what you mean. Pack of provisions. Oh, oh, ten pack of provisions. I know what you're saying. Pops, pack, P-O-P. -P. Yeah, pops, yeah, ten pops. It's not bad though, right? We brought. I mean, we didn't actually have to make any though re previously. It's still very nice for forty coins. I'll take it. I guess I'll wait. Yeah. True. I mean, if I yeah, it's not fine. So what do you? What do we think? Foragers or no? We'll see how it goes. Hmm. 
They can probably starve for one. No, they cannot. Yeah, that's fine. We'll go with us. Actually, you know what? I'll go like this. Alright. We should be able to do it, right? We got the oil. Okay, hang on, hang on. We have this, right? Let's see if we can get a better rebellious spirit. Two altars decay for the win? Yeah, I think it's worth the price. I think it's definitely worth the price. It should be fine. Because you'll have, like, a massive hostility reduction. Was it two dead? Seven dead? Yeah, you're right. It's seven dead people, right? Seven dead people. I think it was seven dead, right? Where's the altar of decay thingy? Which icon was this? Yeah, seven dead people. We're gonna get another free minus 140. Well, we're gonna get... Well, okay, somebody's gonna die. So that's means eight. Right? We're gonna get another 180 off. Because you have to kill off somebody to, to do the thing, right? So yeah, we're gonna get like a minus 320. Oh yeah! <laughs> nice! Thank you for that. Thank you for that. My upgraded rebellious spirit. Hallelujah. 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 All right, you know what? I'll take the left. Oh yeah, humans. Oh, oh, oh shit. Somebody's gonna die anyway, is that right? Best Tulas. Right. What is this? Trade routes are worth one more amber. Doesn't apply to routes already in progress. It affects scales with quantity of of goods exported. Additional talisman gain two fire essence for every completed two dangerous except clone events. We're gonna complete two, right? The question is do I want that or not? We are gonna complete two. Do I take that, or do I just take the money and move on? I'll just take the money. Really doesn't matter. Alright, people, right? Five on the left, four on the right. I'll take the most people. We need to get 28 people now, right? I can't do the, my other thingy without 28 people. Oh my god, look at all that. 
Loving this rebellious spirit. in here. Ooh, planks, huh? Twenty-four. We're out of biscuits, guys. We should be able to pay that soon, right? Alright, what do we have? Provisions? We make flour. There's a cellar already to the left of us. Right, I think there's a cellar in here, right? Yeah. Ooh, some of that. Or no, hang on, no, no. Because that's to use to make the biscuits. Alright, we should be able to win, right guys? Easy peasy, right? Oh, look at that! We have all this large field. We, Good god, that's a lot. I forgot about that. We have all this. We probably don't even need the Protus wheat thingy. Right? We probably don't even need the Protus wheat. Now the problem with Altar of Decay is we're gonna need... We're gonna need some luxury. We need oil. We're gonna need oil. Oh, that's already shipped in, right? Oh my god. Oh, that's not happening. That's not happening. That's not happening. This one, maybe. Jesus Christ. We may not even need this, but we'll see. I need oil first. I can't solve that without the oil. Or incense. Or I canceled this. What's my other alternative for Harmony Spirits? Scrolls? No, attacking her is not a good idea, that's all I can say. Biscuits can now be made? No, I don't know. This is helpful. Nothing helpful off of her. I'm thinking, how do I get my solves for that? 20, right? Or I need a fi I need five more of this. I need five more of that, right? I need five more though, that's the problem. I mean I don't need the extra point, do I? I don't even have my other thingy set up yet.
We may not even need it, honestly. This here. Because our hostility is so low. We'll see. Well, we'll see. We gotta come up with five anyways. I need 28 people first before we kill more people. That doesn't do anything for me, right? That doesn't do anything for me. I mean, that one can make tools. I mean, that one could give us happiness for the lizards. Or sorry, the foxes, right? The fighting gear. How was your Sins of the Solar Empire 2 games a day ago? I didn't fully, wasn't able to fully watch it. It was good. I, uh, the, uh, the impossible AI was not that great, though, because I've realized that it's impossible or nearly impossible. They, uh, they rigged it. The AI cheats. They give AIs, like, significant advantage. And so terrible. Cheating AIs basically is how they were able to rig it. Oh, prayers, right? Discovering a glade during the storm grants 15. Lincoln. Discovering glades during the storm grants 15 is actually quite a deal, right? I can just win off of that. Just off of this, right? Let's go with this. This gets me my cellar. Small destroyed caravan does what? Pretty sure I can solve that too, right? 15 and 9, easy peasy. And then the large cache, easy. Doesn't do a diff anything different for me. You're working on it. Easy. Fine. I think I can win before even needing to go in there. That may not even be a thing. Which one was this? This is the cash, right? It's fine. This is like 0.5. It's a large and medium rain spear totem. Don't want to go there right now.
is terrible. Oh dear lord. He's already gone it. Easy. I'll take people now. Instead of later. Four, five. Five on the right. Seven, six, seven on the left. I'll take it now. Smithy Manufactory. I'll take the right. over here. Gets me two. I need to make biscuits, right? Alright, there we go! Everything's moving! Thank you for that fall there. Appreciate it. From the shadows? No. Gift from the queen? Don't care. Gain three for every barrels produ flags produced. Yeah, let's all go with that one actually. Oh shit! I should have left it on. I should have left it. My bad. My terrible bad. Oh, it's too late now, right? Human house needs for biscuits. Tea doctor, yes. Tea doctor. I need to get one of these in here. And then I need to get... I need to get uh, one more person. I actually don't need this. Screw it. I don't have enough food now. have enough food. I need pack of building materials. How many? 24? Yeah. So I need one more person. Let's take this. I need one more person for this. I need to do a bunch of trades. Right. We may not even need the trades at all at this point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go, we're back in business. Ranch. Salad dressing. I won't kill you. Biscuits for beavers. Fifteen. 
more plankies. Rain mill. Oh, rain mill, huh? I don't know, guys. Rain mill? I'll take the clothier. Thank you for that follow. Appreciate it. Let's go with this. We should be able to burn through this. We should be fine. Beavers are actually moving the bar. Craziness. Your sex, right? The your sex, guys. Yeah, we may not need to open the other thingy. already given me five right jesus yeah we may not need to open that other glade now that i'm looking at this the biscuit's gonna fill up right A pack of building materials oh it's only 20 not 24 trade routes right Ooh, survivor bonding. I'll take it. What's this one? Damn it. Hang on, we're not... Yeah, okay. I could probably turn in something here. Take it. Somebody's, some people are going to die here, guys, very soon. Somebody I used to know. They're going to die. Oh, 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 shit. Well, yeah, some people are going to die. I forgot to put, I, oh, God, some people are going to die. Some people are gonna die. Oh, dear Lord. More people are gonna die. We're not gonna get that neighborhood anytime soon. That's for sure. Temple. Granary. Oh no! Beavers. Beavers! Unite! Six on the left, six on the right. Take this one. Can't be that bad, right? Can't be worse. <laughs> Can't be worse, right? 
Oh no! What the fuck? That last guy had to get killed last minute. Oh, fucking bullshit. That last guy just had to get killed last. If only he died right before, right? That would have been amazing. Well, on the bright side, we do have zero hostility, right? Bright side, zero hostility. I should have popped something sooner. I should have popped it sooner. Can I get that in the time frame? Damn it, I did not get it in the time frame. Alright, well I did actually get it before this, because the hostility would have increased. That's fine, I didn't get the tools. Yeah. 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 What else can I get? Let me think about this. We're about to win. Let me think about this. One, two, three, four and a half, right? Four and a half. Might as well kill the traitor, right? I might as well just kill the traitor. Because we're going to get five people anyways. One, two, three, four. We don't need to, actually. Because four more people from the humans quest could just give me the last solve. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's fine. I'll let the I'll let the I'll let that guy live. You're lucky. I decide to let you live. You are lucky today. What else do I need? What else do I need, guys? What else do I need? Actually, I actually don't need all of this anymore. What else can I... What else can I use? Beer? I'll probably use some fabric. Shit. Seriously? Perfect. Damn it. Trade routes, right? Hurry, please. We don't need this anymore, actually. There you go. Okay, there you go. Probably don't need that anymore. 
All right, so this one, right? Somebody's gonna die. Somebody I know is gonna die. Doink, 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 doink. Yeah, you can leave. You know what? I'll take this off. It's not gonna matter. Oh, there we go. Trade routes, right? It's not gonna work in time. Three points. Nah, we don't need the trade routes, actually. We just need this. We need everyone to have homes. I'm short one house. Short one house. I'm thinking, how are we going to do this? I don't need this anymore. Where, where am I going to get wood? Or plankies. We don't need the granary. Well, we might not need that last neighborhood after all, because the rate that they're gaining, we probably don't even need to worry about it. Yeah, I'm not even worried about this. It won't matter because we're about to win. It's irrelevant at this point. Right? It's really irrelevant. Alright, just for funsy. <laughs> just for funsy. Let's call the trader over. Just for funsy. Ah, four people died. Nothing good. Would we have gotten that bar in time? No, right? Yeah, we already won. Bam. Bam. You're seven to win. Check trades, right? Like, lol. Exactly. <laughs> that was just for funsy. We didn't even have to get that proto-wheat thing either. All that time. All that planning. Nice. That wasn't terribly bad, right? No farming with ancient battlegrounds. Okay, this is Sparky Crystals. Right, that's not terribly bad. So that was, we are ahead of schedule still, right? Not terribly bad. So I do that one and then I go do this one. Right, that one or to this one, right? That one goes to this one. And then depending on what this is, or we go here, right? Actually, here is probably better. Just in case. Humans for impatience too from the Spark 2 Crystals. Do we have humans? Oh, we do have humans. You're right. All right, so that looks like a good deal. I'll take this. I'll take this. Look at that. We're back on 22 Embark points. Sounds like a good deal here. Eight, nine, ten. I think the top is the way to go. Yeah, the top is probably the way to go. We do have a farm, too. What is this? Royal Woodlands? Food? Eight, nine, ten. It's like the people, I guess. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 people is kind of a bit much. 8, 9, 10 is doable. Do 
three, four, five, six. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I don't know if I want to eat in my reserve for that. I don't think that's worth it. This one is okay. All right, I think that could work. Let's put down some some dates here. C37. Prestige 20. Town number 9? I think it's town number 9, right? Town number 9, yeah. Okay. Alright, so yeah. That's fine. Quick bathroom break here. And then we will figure this out. So BRB, guys. <laughs>